Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Morning, evening, afternoon, whatever it is. Hope you guys are having a good day. Today, I'm a little bit excited and a little bit nervous because we are trying out a brand new fake tanner. And I am in a committed relationship with my fake tanner. Although I will say, I have been looking for some face specific product or face safe product. I've just been kind of using a body product on my face, which isn't the best, especially when it has alcohol in it. And I'm pretty sure mine does. Because I typically use the um, Jergens Natural Glow Instant Sun Bronzing Mousse. So it's just like a mousse pump. I use it on a mitt, put it all over my body, and then the remainder I usually do my face with. So not the most face friendly product, um, but it does the job. I really like this product. If you are looking for a body fake tanner, you get this at the drugstore. Even decent color coming from a ginger, that means a lot. And I think it's only like 15 bucks, so very good product. But today we are trying out the Isle of Paradise Medium Self Tanning Water. This is what the bottle looks like. Now my mom brought this back for me from England, but I did look it up and you're able to buy it on Sephora. It's a pricey product, pricey for me at least, um, coming from someone who uses Jergens, right, from the drugstore. So I don't use a really, really expensive product. But it does say that you're able to use it on your face, which I like, and it's also vegan, cruelty-free, and organic. Although that's not something that I go out of my way to ensure that that's the only products that I use on my body in my, in, in my life. Um, I certainly appreciate it. I love the fact that you're able to get something like this in a vegan, cruelty-free, and organic option. I just feel like, especially if I'm going to put that on my face, it is a better option. So, I'm going to read the instructions. We're going to go through the product together. I'm going to let you see sort of like how it develops over time. I am only going to do like my neck and up just because I'm going to use my regular self tanner all over my body. This is a $37 Canadian product. If I love it, I want to just use it on my face and then the rest of my body use like the, the mousse. So we'll see how that goes. So it says that the tan will develop in four to six hours. Told me to carry out a patch test, which I did. So I'll just read, I'll, I'll read kind of like the back. So it says, self tanning water with color correcting actives um, plus a green base for a natural golden glow with no streaks, no smells, or orange tones. So it's formulated with super balanced complex to reduce redness, calm the skin, and improve your karma. Uh, packed with organic tanning activities and avocado, ch uh, chia seeds, and coconut oils for a happy hydrated glow. We love clean tanning so you'll never find these in our products, parabens, sulfates, mineral oils, or fi I'm not going to embarrass myself and try to say that word, so <laughs> moving on. As you can tell, I am super, super pale right now. I am about like a week out from the last time I did a fake tan, so let's get started. Basically, it just says to um, exfoliate 24 hours. 24 hours before tanning, moisturize dry areas. I showered last night. I did a little um, face exfoliant. I uh, moisturized my face as well because I do have extremely dry skin. Um, Mist until skin is totally saturated, covering face, hands, and feet last. Before blending in with the tanning mitt using sweeping motions. Thoroughly get the tan wet while it develops. Oh my god, I can't read on bottles. Like, I don't know if it's just me, me, but like when you have to do this to read, I, it's like I can't even read anymore. I'm also not wearing my glasses, so I can't see that well. Thoroughly wet wash palms after use. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna put on a shirt, the cover's here, and then spray. Sorry, Cole, we're gonna use your shirt because it's dark okay so yeah i'm just gonna do this portion of my face maybe i should take this off okay here we go i'm actually a little bit nervous i am just like so committed to my fake tanner and i know it looks good but i guess quarantine is the best time to try out a new product like this because no one's gonna see me 
So I have got my fake tanning mitt right here. Just the classic one that I use. It's nice and thick, soft. Um, the Isle of Paradise spray. Just gonna do one spray onto the mitt before I do it on my face. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Oh, okay, nice spray though. Oh, oh my God, and it smells amazing. Like no chemicals, no. Oh my God, that smells so good, okay. I can do this. Okay, so that just got all over my arms as well. It's definitely not a product that you're able to um, totally position, obviously, spray bottle. I feel like I didn't do the best job at like, actually. Okay, so I'm sweeping motions, sweeping motions. Oh gosh, I really hope this turns out. Okay, so it's clear, so I don't know if I'm completely covered, but um, fingers crossed, I guess. I'll probably do a like two hour check-in. It is now, it's now 9.34 in the morning. Um, obviously, Diana, it's freaking light out. Um, it's 9.30 now, so I will see you at 11.30. Going to just keep on doing some work and drinking my coffee. We'll see you at 11.30. Hello, happy two hours. <laughs> um, don't mind my coffee yellow teeth. It has been just under two hours. This is what it looks like. I actually moved us back just a little bit because the light coming from the window was a little bit too harsh. So this way you can see the coloring just a little bit better. But um, I also added just a little bit of moisturizer to the bottom of my neck where it kind of met my shirt just to help fade it in a little bit more. I am gonna do my body fake tan, but I'm gonna do it tonight because I like to sleep in it. Um, just because otherwise I get water, I wash my hands, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, I like to do body fake tan night, sleep in it, washed off in the morning. So this is what two hours look like. Not a crazy difference, anything at all. Does say it takes four to six hours, so I'm not worried, but um, wanted to give you the two hour check-in. So see you at four hours. Okie dokie, so it is now 126 so it's been I did it around 9 30 checked in around 11 30 now that it's 1 30 or almost 1 30 I'm really not seeing like a lot of color it's very minimal now it's supposed to to like get it develop its color within four to six hours so Technically, it should be pretty much developed by now, like the six hours max is like a little, oh my gosh, check out that pimple, it's coming through, that sucks. <laughs> um, it should be like pretty well developed right now. So I'm thinking maybe I didn't put enough of a layer on, like, okay, sorry, I can't do this. Like. It was a light layer, but it was medium, so I thought, oh, you know, if it's medium, I'm super pale, and I usually go with everything that's, like, light bronze. So, I was a little bit lighter than I maybe should have been. So, what I'm thinking is that perhaps I do a second layer. This can go well, or it can go really bad, so <laughs> pray for me. Um... And see if that helps because this is definitely like not what my face usually looks like after I fake tan so let's do another layer here I'm actually not even gonna take I'm not gonna cover this up just because it is so light that if I do another layer of that it's not gonna matter no nope. my cat's underneath me and I don't want to spray her hey get out of the way baby this girl just wants to be part of the video if I kiss her enough, she'll get annoyed and go away. Mm -hmm. There. Works like a charm. Just 
gonna quickly bring that down a little bit. I'm just super lightly, cause this is dry and I don't want it to soak up the product. So I'm just lightly, lightly brushing it over myself. I am just gonna do the back of my neck really quickly as well. Okay. So yeah, you can kind of see the coloring here, but it's certainly not like a, it's not a medium tan by any stretch, like at all. So, I guess you'll be seeing two more check-ins. Like I said, it's 1.30 now. I'll check in around 3.30. Do you like how to do that math there? Um, and then again at 5.30. So, see you at 3.30. Okay, so I'm a little bit delayed. I'm about a half an hour off. It's now like four o'clock-ish which means it's been an additional two hours. And I can definitely tell that the second layer, excuse me, stripping. <laughs> um, uh, I can tell that the second layer has definitely added some more color. Don't mind my monster pimple that's about to erupt here. Um, but yeah, I think layer two, definitely feeling like the color is coming in a lot better. You can't see it great in this light and based on like my little viewfinder it's not showing like crazy um overall decently even in comparison to my jurgens i know it looks like there's some like blotchiness that's actually just like my regular face discoloration so yeah but um i'm pretty pleased I'll have to wait and see what like the final coloring is, but um, so far I'm, I'm decently pleased with it. Alrighty guys, so this is my final check-in. It is now, what time is it? It's now seven o'clock, which means I have had like basically an entire day of it curing and developing. And in this lighting, I will admit it doesn't show as much as it does another lighting, like in my bedroom, kind of like in a darker area, it shows a little bit more. I think I'm like quite happy with it, I'll be honest. Um, for the price, ugh, it's, I really don't like spending money on things, so I struggle, but I, I genuinely think that it's gonna be exactly what I'm looking for on my face. I haven't felt any irritation at all. I think it's a good color. It's gonna match the body tanner well, um, and it's smooth, like it's it's it, not streaky. It goes well around like your lips and stuff and in the creases of your eye. I always find when I use the mitt with the foam, I get like bits of areas that, that come out white. Whereas with this, because it's such an even mist, I really don't get that at all. So I'm pretty happy with it. And I will say I'll probably buy another bottle. now. Keep in mind, I'm gonna obviously try to see how long it lasts. Usually the Jergens lasts about three days where I still feel like I'm tanned. So this would be day one, day two, and day three, the next two days. Uh, and then on day four, like it starts to fade out a little bit. So I'll keep you updated. I'll update like the description box with how well it lasts in terms of like staying smooth, not streaky. Like sometimes it gets patchy when it starts to fade out. So. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm gonna actually go wash my face because I wanna kinda just get that like first layer off and I'll show you what it looks like after I wash my face. All right, so I just took a, a wet face cloth and wiped down all like bits of my face. Great news is that it didn't really come off at all and it didn't come off on the, I had a light like rosy pink face cloth and I didn't see any residue come off, which is a good sign because that means like the transfer is gonna be really low and sometimes you can get, if you're wearing a shirt, like you can see it on your clothing, which just isn't a good look. So I have to be honest, I'm pretty impressed. I will definitely be using this moving forward. I will likely be repurchasing it for my face, but based on those two applications and using this much of the bottle, like. So like I have barely even 
touch the top of it. So don't think I'll be needing to, oh, hello. Don't think I'll need be needing to repurchase anytime soon. I'm gonna say like a solid 8.5, 9 out of 10 rating based on so far. The only reason I'm taking away points is because of the fact that I had to do the two applications. Like I think if I was just a little bit heavy handed, heavier handed on the first application, it probably would have been okay. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. I am an avid self tanner user. So I like to think that I know what it is that I'm looking for. And I know a good fake tanner when I find one. This is a good one based on my experience right now and uh, if you're looking for an affordable option, I'm seriously telling you that Jergens one, it's amazing. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know your comments down below if you have like any other ride or die. I swear this quarantine has got me like not being able to speak. Um, if you have any more, any other ride or die fake tanners, let me know because I am always on the hunt for the best of the best when it comes to fake tanners. And with that said, I will sign off. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what you want to see in the upcoming videos. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye. Okay, guys, I thought I was ending the video there, but... <laughs> It's now like 11 o'clock and I just went to take my clothes off to put my pajamas on and I noticed something which made me feel like it's way darker and way more intense than I think I thought it was. So excuse my nudity, but just take a peek at this. I have tan lines right now from my top. That's my little update for you. Now actually signing out.